the subcommittee will come to order. Uh, Chair recognize the ranking member uh, to make an objection. Mr. Chairman, I seek to be recognized to raise an objection. I, I'll be very brief, Mr. Chairman. I just want everyone to understand that I, have, I want to have regular order in the subcommittee, meaning that if a bill comes up, it has to have a hearing, it has to have a markup, and then it goes to the full committee. That's what regular order is. And the two bills that are on the agenda today, one of them I've never even heard of, hasn't been introduced before. The other one, I did have a brief conversation, not with you, but with the chairman of the full committee last Friday, and indicated again that I wanted to have a hearing and a markup. So, I mean, under the circumstances, I have to raise an objection because we're not having a hearing and a markup on, on either bill at this point before they go to the full committee. And I think that uh, that's not the way we should be doing business here on this committee. That's not the way we've operated in the past. It's certainly not the way you've operated, Mr. Chairman. So this meeting does not comply with House Rule 11, Clause Will, will the gentleman yield? Oh, certainly. I just... You know, I, uh, I, I just, I, I, it was last Thursday that we had the discussion and then a subsequent well, you conversation talk, uh, on, on Chairman, Friday. and then I'll, and I'll come back and right, respond. I just, the gentleman, I, I went to the gentleman, I asked if he, if he wouldn't mind missing the, uh, the subcommittee mark and go to full committee mark. Both these bills are non-controversial. Both enjoy broad bipartisan support. One is passed, as I'm told, uh, by unanimous consent already in the Senate, and in an effort to, uh, to go to subcommittee markup. Uh, I asked the gentleman if, he, if he'd allow us to, to go to full committee. He came back to me on Friday and said you'd prefer uh, not to. And, and I said, well, we'll schedule it very quickly. It could mean even 8 a.m. Uh, and that's what the decision was made. We don't have a lot of legislative days left. I want to mark this bill, both these bills up on, on Wednesday because of the, the bipartisan support that they have. And certainly the interest that they have with groups uh, around the country. And I understand that, uh, you know, we, I guess by 24 hours or so, we didn't give an appropriate notice for a markup today. But if, if, you'd, if you raise uh, an objection to this, uh, we'll go right to full committee on Wednesday. And I, I yield back to the gentleman. Mr. Chairman, again, uh, Mr. Chairman Upton, I, I think that this is the problem and the reason that we should have regular order, meaning that we have a hearing and subcommittee, we have a markup in subcommittee, and you know, there's some time in between, a week or, be or so between, before we then go to the full committee. Because I think that if we don't do that, then there's probably confusion about what bills we're talking about, what's in the bills, what other members feel about the bills. That's why I believe in regular order, because it's the only time that members, other than the chairman or the ranking members have an opportunity to actually see what the bills are, have a hearing on the bills, and we get full input in it. I don't want to get into what you said or I said. I mean, the bottom line is uh, there are two bills that are being marked up in subcommittee today. Neither one of them has had a hearing. You may have misinterpreted. I was making it quite, quite clear that I wanted to have a hearing and a markup, ju not just a markup. And one of the bills is the new bill, which wasn't discussed. Uh, we talked about a diabetes bill, and we talked about the other bill briefly. But I think this is the kind of uh, problems that you have when you don't go through regular order. So I just insist that we have regular order, meaning you have a hearing in the subcommittee, you follow that with a markup in the subcommittee, and then you go to the full committee, and you have a little time in between to actually review what we're doing. Gentlemen, yield uh, to me? Uh, of course I would, sure. Yeah, I, I want to point out uh, to the chairman of the full committee, these are not bipartisan, non-controversial bills. Uh, the AMA opposes this, this uh, registry because they think it's uh, overburdensome and may have the opposite effect of making it more difficult to create uh, the uh, registries. And I would have liked to know why they think that, and the hearing would elicit it. Also, I want to know why we want to do it. And then the other bill is an extension of an enforcement which was already extended once and then was supposed to be enforced, yet uh, I, I don't know of any, and the Senate passed it before, before other things happened. Before does, the enforcement the gentleman yield? Effect, so it's already in effect. It, it's it's uh, my time. I, I'll certainly yield but uh, to uh, Chairman Upton. But I, I also wanted to point out, we have another, it's not part of this 3 o'clock, but at 4 o'clock we're having a hearing on a bill which I see has also been noticed 
uh, for uh, full committee on Wednesday. So in the case of the 4 o'clock one, it's the opposite. We're having a hearing, but no subcommittee markup. And that one wasn't discussed either. So, you know, we've got a number of problems here that, um, that uh, require, I think, objection on, our part, on the part of the, the Democrats. But yes, I'll yield to uh, Chairman Upton. Uh, I, I'm not aware of the AMA objection to the first. Do you have a, I know that we've been talking to them. I don't know that they uh, have weighed in officially that they're against this, the diabetes bill. Is that right? Well, you talk about the diabetes bill. The registry bill? The diabetes bill was a bill that was already introduced that dealt with diabetes. You have a bill on the schedule for today that has no number, which appears to be totally different. And I, there may be some reference to diabetes, but this isn't the diabetes bill that you discussed with me last week. That was a bill that had a number that was about diabetes. So this is the problem. I mean, what is this bill today that's up? It doesn't have a number. It's a new bill. We haven't even seen the bill until today. Again, there's so many problems here, Mr. Chairman. I don't even know where to begin. We have bills that we haven't seen at all. We have bills that are going to have a markup without a hearing. And at 4 o'clock, we have bills that are going to have a hearing go to full committee without a markup. I mean, it's just this is not the way we should be conducting business. I, I have to object. But go ahead. I, I don't mean to cut no. you off. No. I yield to the, to the chairman. Well, I, I just want to say, we. we we try to clear this with you. Again, they have broad bipartisan support. We've been working with the different associations. Uh, and uh, again, uh, HR 4067, I happened to see Senator Moran. He was on the floor. He asked if we would move this quickly. And I said, as a matter of fact, I would talked to you uh, just in the previous hour on the floor. And he said, well, it's already passed by unanimous consent in the Senate. We'd, we'd love to, to have it happen. I said, go. So there's Mr. Plone right over there. Go, go talk to him. I presume that, that you did. Um, and we, we shared this information last Thursday with you and noticed it, I think, on Friday. But if you're, you're perfectly capable to eject, and we'll just Well, I just reclaim my time. I think there's a lot of confusion on the part of the majority as to what they think they represented. And I don't want to get into the details of it at this point, other than to say that at least for the bills that are up now at 3 and the other one that you have a hearing on at 4, clearly they're not going through regular order. And therefore, you know, I, they don't comply um, with House Rule 11, Clause 2G3, requiring three days' notice. So I object, Mr. Chairman. Will the gentleman from New Jersey yield? Yes, certainly. You know, there's enough bad will in this place to sink a battleship. And I really don't see any reason why on a small procedural matter like this, we ought to have the kind of hassle we're having here. We've wasted now about 10 or 15 valuable minutes of the committee. And we've done so in spite of the fact that the regular order says that we would do things in a certain way. We are not. The end result of that is that the goodwill that it takes to move legislation isn't there, or it's going to be heard. And I say this with great affection for my good friend from Michigan, the chairman of the committee, and also to the others, including the chairman of the subcommittee, who has a rather remarkable record for fairness and decency. But it doesn't take much to give notice. And if I can recall back with some of my friends on the other side of the aisle, when we used to be careless about this, we always get a huge eruption from the, on the Republican side. Not always because the complaint was a legitimate one, but simply because there was sometimes a sense of bad treatment that caused the members over there to want to fuss to protect their rights on the rules and under the rules. So I'm hopeful that when we can, we'll abate this kind of ill will by talking to each other, by seeing to us that the rules are adhered to, and that when a notice is supposed to go out, it goes out in a timely fashion. Now, sometimes if there's an urgent matter, it can go out, it can go out at the say-so of the ranking minority member and the senior member on the, on the Republican side, the chairman of the committee and the subcommittee. And that's proper. That's, uh, we, we are not 
going to make things impossible to do around here just because we want to make it difficult for our Republican friends. But you've got to remember that we have to protect the rights of all the members of the committee because the rules of the committee are both the sword and the shield of every member of this committee. And so I hope that the leadership on the committee will listen to Mr. Pallone and Mr. Waxman and try and cooperate with us so that if we have fights, we can have fights over important matters instead of piddling matters and so that we don't have fights over piddling matters so that we have the time to deal with the hundreds or thousands of questions that this country f confronts. So I've said more than I wanted to say, but I do hope my colleagues on the other side will listen because I think these matters are important. We're drawing a lot of pay, and this, is, this place is costing the taxpayers a lot of money. And I think they'd kind of like to see us get, give them something back for what they're paying us. I thank the gentleman for yielding to me. The uh, chairman's or the uh, gentleman's time's expired. Does the uh, ranking member insist on objection? I do. The subcommittee will now stand adjourned.